But in this lesson we're going to look at elevons and flaperons and we're going to use two uh, example aircraft from this, the Mirage uh, Dassault Mirage 2000 which is a French aircraft which is uh, which, which has elevons and then we're going to look at the F-16 which is an American aircraft that has flaperons and tailorons. So there's the Mirage, first things first, uh, we'll have a quick look around the Mirage. If we look, I'm not doing this audio in real time so I must apologise, it's just weird the way it works. So Mirage is a Delta aircraft. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a tail. It just has one Delta wing. It has no horizontal stabilizer. And on the back surface of that aircraft, you can see it has the whole back trailing edge of the wing is one large elevon. Okay. It also has some. Um, uh, if you see where the little red writing is there on the top of the wing, it has some air brakes that will pop out the top and bottom of the wing, and has leading edge slats. So that little red square there is a, an air brake. Okay, um, so we'll move to the next view, we'll take it flying now and we'll have a look at the elevons. Now elevons control roll and pitch both together with one flying control surface. So the half, half elevator, half aileron. So we'll just wait for the, the game to load up and we'll watch it flying. Right, so as you can see now, we'll go for, I think we'll go for a roll. Yeah, sorry, no pitch. As I pitch down over and pitch up and down, you see the elevators moving up and down the same direction as each other. Okay, so uh, we're pitching up and pitching down, and the elevators are moving at the back. I'm just going to get the sun in the right position now with a little bit of rudder. So it has a standard rudder on the aircraft. Or rudder, if you can pronounce your R's properly, not like me. Okay, so there's the yellow ones there, and they are one's going up, one's going down moving independently in different directions to control the roll on the aircraft. Yeah, so that's the functions of the, ele the elevons. So there they're acting as elevators, moving up and down, and then they can also control the roll. And you'll see on this aircraft the air brakes popping out the, the top of the wing to create extra foam drag to slow the airplane down. You can see the popping at the bottom as well. Yeah, and then uh, I think we'll spin around the front and you'll see the leading edge slats making the wing more curvy from the front. Okay, so that's a leading edge slot which gives it more camber to the wing, creates more lift. Okay, so when you come in to land or take off, you want more lift. Now, normally an aircraft would have flaps that come out the back, but the Mirage doesn't have these because it has elevons. What the elevons cannot do is come down, come down together and function as a set of flaps. That's what makes them elevons, not flaperons. So on the next aircraft, we're going to look at flaperons. We're going to look at the F-16, the General Dynamics F-16, and that has flaperons. I'll do an extra video about tailorons in a minute, but for now, I want you to just look at the wings. Don't look at the tail so much, okay? Right, so we're going up the F-16. And we'll take a flat. I can't remember if I do a preview on this one or not. Yeah, okay, so look at the F-16 standard configuration. Like, you know, this isn't a Delta aircraft. It has a, a standard wing and a normal uh, horizontal stabilizer at the back, um, which is an all moving horizontal stabilizer on all flying tail. And it can, it is actually tail on it and function independently. So one can go up and one can go down. But we'll cover tail ones in, in another lesson. I want you to focus on the wings on this this video. Um, so the flap ones on the F-16, what you'll see is that they will control roll. Uh, they will not control pitch. They do on other aircraft, but not on the F-16. And then they can function as a separate set of flaps. So there you see the flap ones on the trailing edge of the wing going up and down. Yeah. Yes, the tail ones are going up and down as well, but the flap ones are actually going up and down. One's going up, one's going down to control the roll. Right. Now, when we slow the aircraft down in a minute, you can see that the the, the air brakes come out the back, but see the trail edge of the wing? Both flap ones go down and they make the wing more cambered. Okay, so they increase the camber of the wing, which increases the lift. And as you see, it's also got leading edge slats, which are coming down there. Yeah, so there's a couple of different views on that the next, last part of the video. Yeah, so just trying to get a good view of those uh, of those flap ones now. You see the leading edge slats come down, 
and the flat ones come down at the back to make the wing more curved. But they also can go one up and one down to control the roll. So flat ones on this type of flat run, right, on a military aircraft, that's what flat ones do. Okay. Now I might show you the F-18 as well, just to finish off this this video. Um, I'll have a look what the F-18 does, and then we'll do a bit on tail ones as well. I've got no idea what I'm doing now. Like I say, this order's not in real time. I've just got. There we go. So there's the tail ones moving one up and one down and control pitch on the aircraft. I think that's what I was trying to show on there. The tail ones control pitch on this aircraft. And there's the flap ones coming down at the back on the on the trailing edge. Alright, so there's a quick few on flap ones uh, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Right, I'm not sure how well the um, I'm not sure how well the the the, the writing's going to come across on this, right? Because the camera seems to have been having problems focusing on the board because uh, of the reflections on, because it's shiny and stuff. So um, this is the lesson on uh, flaperons and elevons. But we talk about the, the difference between flaperons and elevons. So on the previous on the videos you'll see after this, you'll see uh, a Mirage uh, Delta fighter aircraft where I talk about elevons. And then we'll talk about flat runs. Now flat runs come in all different shapes and sizes. Elevons are dead simple. Delta aircraft, like early aircraft, like the Vulcan and uh, Concorde and uh, the Mirage, the early Mirages, the trailing edge of the wing uh, just moved up and down on Delta wings only. Elevons are only found on Delta aircraft. Okay, you don't find elevons on anything else. Um, the trailing edge of the wing moves up and down and uh, it either moves up and down as a set of elevators together or it moves one up one down as a set of um, elevons or, or ailerons so it's a, an amalgamation of ailerons and elevons when we look at flat bones are a little bit more complex okay now there's different flavors of flat bones if you want to call it that so over on this side you've got your modern fighter aircraft okay which have this sort of wing here you've got your airliners with this sort of wing here and you've got your high lift stall stands for short takeoff and landing aircraft Now these aren't a new thing these these type of aircraft have been around since the fields are Storch uh, and the Lysander in World War II okay and uh, the most famous aircraft that you probably find with these kind of flapperons was the the something's called the Junker flaps right which was fitted to the uh, the Junker 87 Stuka which is the dive bomber that you see in all, all the World War II uh, uh, films right so back up to your fighter aircraft and the airliners your fighter aircraft um, there's three things that we've seen online already on the videos I've put out there on YouTube the first two are the MiG-29 and the F-18 and the F-16 was was um, the one I compared with the Mirage on the earlier video so you've got the MiG-29, the F-18 and the F-16 and we'll, we'll, we'll miss out Mirage for now so the Mirage has elevons, these all have diff slightly different types of, these two have slightly different types of flap runs and the MiG-29 is a modern aircraft that does not have flap runs. So the MiG-29, straight away, this section just goes down as a standard flap. This section, the outboard section, we're going to talk about outboard and inboard quite a lot. Outboard just means further away from the fuselage, outboard. Just exactly the same as we're on a boat, yeah, further away from the centre line. So the outboard section of the MiG-29, standard ailerons, they control roll, and then you've got the standard flaps, plain flaps that just go down, and they, they just give you extra camber for takeoff and landing and make the wing a bit curvier. On the leading edge on all these aircraft, I should have added that they also have leading edge slats. Okay, now the slats and slots, we'll talk about that in a different lesson, but they just make the, the wing more cambered. So the side view of the wing would be, there's your, there's your wing. Okay, and then your slats would come, would come out the front like that, and your flaps would come out the back like that, and you make it a more curvy wing. Okay, right, so MiG-29, standard flaps, standard ailerons. The F-18, right, and the F-16, the 18 splits into two, so on the F-18, this is still a standard flap, but the outboard aileron has the, op the option of going up and down to control roll, 
but when it slows down it comes down and becomes an extra flap okay so that is what we call the flapper on it's an aileron that also works as a flap okay pitch on all these aircraft is controlled by the tailor one which we'll talk about in a separate lesson so the F-18 has an outboard flapper on now the F-16 all they do is they just basically they blend those controls together right and the whole back section of the wing becomes one big flapper on similar to what we're going to talk about down here uh, so for roll the, fl the, the flapper ons move up and down independently to control the roll and then when it slows down the whole thing comes down and becomes one big flap okay every single aircraft the f-15 is similar to the mig-29 because it's slightly older so it used you know and then the newer aircraft like the f-18 is newer than the f-16 and that basically uses instead of one big flap one it, it, it says it has a standard flap and some flap ones the, the elbow ones are flap ones lots and lots of variations moving away from fighter aircraft then to two, um airliners so what airliners have is they will have on this thing over here they will have standard ailerons on the wing okay you might also have a line here we'll talk about in a minute standard ailerons and then they'll have flaps flaps and they might have the red bit that i've outlined there will be a flapper one okay so these flaps the, the back ones generally fowler flaps which we've talked about already they will come down and away from the wing and make it more curvy but the flapper ones will have the option when when you want a bit of extra roll control they have the option of going up as well so these flaps just come down and the middle bit, the middle, generally a smaller section round about there, just inboard of the engine, right, that will go up and down and give you, give you extra roll control. The other thing that um, airliners use for extra roll control, sometimes they're called spo uh, differential spoilers or spoiler ones, and they are little spoilers that will, will pop out of the wing and on the down going wing, when you want to roll they'll just pop a spoiler out it'll create a little bit of drag helps with a bit with the yaw turn of the aircraft but mainly creates a dumps lift on that wing and allows that 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 wing to go down over dumps a bit of lift and it helps with the roll but for now we're talking about the flapper ones which are the the red section there will go up and down they have the option to go up and down whereas these flaps only go down and the other ones only go one up one down to control roll okay some aircraft I've seen out there, some more modern airliners are blending all the controls so that for roll control you might see this work but you might see that this aileron is also a flap one and that comes down for, for the flaps as well. Um, it's becoming more common to have one control surface do a lot more than one, one operation. Finally, on the, so that's your, your modern fighter aircraft such as these ones here. You've got your airliners right, and then you've got your high lift short, short takeoff landing aircraft. Now to make things nice and simple, I'll just check that I've got enough camera time left, two seconds. Yeah, we're okay with that. To make things nice and simple, what you the model aircraft sometimes have this as well. So when you go on YouTube or when you go on to um when you go on to the internet to research flapperons, you see a lot of model aircraft people out there telling you that they know all about flapperons. The reason for that is it's easier on a model plane to just have one thing on the back that, that your, your controller operates as opposed to having two or three. So sticking to real aircraft, right, we have the flap one. Now this is like a slotted flap, okay, so the youngest flaps, what they have is on here, you have a little gap and this allows some of the high pressure air under the wing or the slightly higher pressure air than what will be above it to leak through and maintain laminar flow so we're here at high angles of attack where this will be a little bit turbulent and we're going to draw this a little bit bigger because i just realized you can't see that very well uh, right so there we go so just down here we'll have there's your wing okay and then there's your your flapper one is down here okay so high angles of attack when the airflow is coming at this sort of angle here there's your relative airflow and it's it's really struggling to maintain the coander effect and stick to the actual wing right where it's struggling there and it's thinking about becoming a bit turbulent here and these flat ones will be in turbulent air what we're going to do is we're going to steal a bit of air from the bottom of the wing and we're going to use this and here's the term i'm looking for to re-energize the the laminar flow at this point here so that re that gives it a bit of a kick and it says hey stay laminar and stay over the control surface and still keep doing your job okay so this allows some air to come through this slot 
and the other advantage of the flat one is it's all one control surface so on short takeoff and landing aircraft when they're flying very slowly at high angles of attack and the air you need to you need to have a lot more control surface motion to get that control that you want because the faster you go the more lift you produce right lift is speed velocity is one of the five factors affecting lift so on faster aircraft you need a small control surface because a little bit of change and it's going to roll quite a lot slower aircraft need bigger control surfaces fatter control surfaces so what they have is they have these ones here to make the whole back surface of the wing a control surface that gives you an advantage you've got more surface area to affect that control and because it's slightly underneath the wing and low down, it stays away from this turbulent air. It's got its own airflow. So really, it, when you're really close to stalling and you've got all this turbulence going on back here, if you had standard flaps there or standard ailerons, you might find you'd lose aileron control at really slow speeds and you wouldn't be able to roll. So what they did was to stick it down and away from the wing and it gets its own airflow. Yeah, it stays away from the turbulence and becomes more effective at slow speeds. In everything in engineering, there's always a drawback. These sort of things produce a lot more drag than what a standard uh, flap on either one would. Okay, right, so that's flap rounds. Three different types. Go to town on that for that one. Some aircraft, like the, the Eurofighter Typhoon and the Mirage and things like that. So if it doesn't have, de if it has dedicated flaps, okay, and then these things either go up and down or both up and both down together, these are elevons with dedicated flaps. Okay. If they all move up and down together, but they can't come down at the same time when you slow down, when the flaps go down, they, they're elevons. If they move up and down together, right, so they can both move up and down independently, no matter what happens with the aircraft, one can be up, one can be down, whatever. Well, you, you generally not have that, but the Eurofighter Typhoon has inboard and out, outboard and inboard flapperons. So the Eurofighter can have any mixture of that. So it can have them all down. As a set of flaps, or we have this down as a set of flaps, and the airboard ones still acting as the other ones. Okay, so it can get a bit confusing. Just stick to the three different flavors. Pick one of these. Pick one of these, and describe them in detail for flapper ones. Okay, that will be a better approach to your assessment work. If you want to talk about all the rest of them, please do. Please talk about all three. If you want to compare them, that'll be a good way of, of seeing you know what you're talking about. But I'll leave that up to you. But if you if you do one and you do it really well, that'll get you flap one sort of criteria that you know what what at least what one type of flap one does. Yeah. Good luck with that. I'll see you quite soon for stuff on tailor ones and canards, and then that's us finished with that part of that assignment. Right. Thanks very much for listening. Bye, Steve. Okay, this is a quick uh, voiceover of just the MiG-29. So this aircraft just has standard flaps. It's got tailor ones at the back, which I just want you to ignore for now. I want you to focus on the trailing edge of the wing only. You can see it's got standard standard ailerons, which are now controlling roll. Okay, the ailerons, when we go to slow down and the flaps deploy, which are going to be inboard, close at the fuselage. You see when it slows down now, the air brakes come at the back. Just ignore them in between the engines there. Look at the trailing edge of the wing. You've got those flaps coming down. To make the wing more cambered. Notice the ailerons stay put and they don't change at all. Okay, so those ailerons aren't moving at all. Um, and then the rest of this is just like showing you some auxiliary uh, intake doors at the front of the aircraft, but don't worry about them for now. Okay, there's the flaps coming down again. Right, standard flaps, standard ailerons on the MiG 29. Moving on to the F-18, or the F-A-18, this, if you look at the ailerons for roll, again, ignore the tailerons for now. The ailerons are controlling roll, okay, they go up and down independently, but look, watch the difference, what happens now. Notice the inboard flaps don't move during roll, unlike the F-16. When it slows down, the whole trailing edge of the wing comes down, so these have outboard flapperons. So inboard flaps, standard flaps inboard, and the outboard section is a flapper on because it can move down together yeah but um it moves down together let's see do it again there it moves down together but it can also move independently control the wall so even when it's down oh, see the ailerons are, uh, sorry the outboard flapper ones are moving slightly okay all right 
and you see that when this aircraft slows down the rudders actually can't in over right they come in over act as air brakes on this aircraft so every control surface on modern fly-by-wire aircraft generally have two functions so the, the rudders act as rudders and they also act as air brakes but we're mainly focusing on flat runs for now okay <laughs> 